Ah, dear me, how something going on. Something going on all over the place today. Right. I'm led to believe I've been really busy. I've missed a lot of stuff on social media over the last hour or so. I've seen messages come through to do with something to do with Michael Bale and also messages to do with tickets, uh, allocation number to do with, with Newcastle. So I'm going to have a read of it now. I don't know anything at all. Promise you, I don't know anything at all. I've heard people saying there's more tickets, more allocation released. I've been for a run, had a shower. I actually had, I had an hour in bed because I felt absolutely shattered after work today. So I just put my phone on Do Not Disturb. And now I need to find this statement from the club. I'm excited. I don't know what's going on. And we need to find out together. Right. I poured myself a pint because... I need one. Oh man, I do apologise for the slow start of the video, but um, I, I, I don't get the timing at all of um, if if it is Michael Bale coming into Sunday. That's what the news is. I don't understand the time the day before the game. Let Dodds take charge. Don't let Michael Bale come in. I mean, the whole situation with Michael Bale in the first place, I'm not happy with, but never mind. It's another situation. So what's on the club side, right? Oh. Tickets, it's a Newcastle ticket. Let's have a look at this. Let's read out the club statement and then we'll go through this together and we'll, we'll dissect it together. Ticket, ticketing arrangements for the weird time derby against Newcastle United have now been confirmed. How many are they getting? On sale from 10 a.m. on Monday, the 18th of December, Monday, tickets will be available subject to availability via three phases and full details of these are listed below. Fans are reminded that tickets for the fixture will only be available online with prices starting from £32 from adults straight away. Straight away, they've hiked the prices up. £29 for over 65 which is ridiculous. I just feel like I'm... I feel all flushed. <sighs> £24 for over 22s and £14. It was definitely £15 for the Fulham game last season at £6. So already they're putting up the prices and they're going to rip the Sunderland fans off a little bit. But end of the day, do you mind? First first question, do you mind paying extra for the, the weird time derby, for this big derby? Do you mind giving the club a bit extra money for this time derby? Or do you think it is an absolute rip-off? Let me know in the comments down below. Personally... I think it's a bit steep. I do think it's a bit steep because if... Oh, flipping hell. Please also be advised that ticket forwarding will not be available for the fixture and under 14s must be accompanied by adult. So you cannot forward your ticket on. So that means, like you can do with the season card, you can forward it on to another member of your family. You cannot do this. If you cannot go to the game, it probably will go up for sale for somewhere else. Right. Opposition allocation down to the nitty gritty. Emirates FA Cup competition rules stipulate that the visiting club shall have the right to claim up to 15% of all seats of which tickets are issued. Following comprehensive dialogue with the Sunderland and Newcastle Safety Advisory Groups, Northumbria Police and Newcastle United, it has been determined that Newcastle United Football Club will receive 6,000 tickets. That's not six, That's not 15%, the starters. 6,000 tickets, that means... Does that mean we've got to move seats? Away supporters will subsequently be sit situated in the north, upper and north lower stands. So we're getting moved. Yes, we're getting moved. I've got to sit somewhere else. We appreciate for some season ticket holders, a bloody lot of season ticket holders, not just fucking some. We appreciate some season ticket holders will be displaced by the stadium configuration and further information for fans impacted by this is available below where we're going to be sitting. An agreement in place for the NUFC to replicate 6,000 tickets and a way allocation should the replay required at St James's Park following consultation with Northumberland Police and Newcastle Safety Officers. Right, so they're getting 6,000 tickets. 
can he bit of an advantage that for the away fans coming down, taking the whole of the North End in one way. Nobody can throw missiles down at us down below. And they haven't done that for a while, so I don't know whether Newcastle fans would. How are we going to deal with the whole situation on the north side? Can we still go to the Hilton Hotel? Can we walk on that end to the club shop? Is it all going to be cordoned off? Please. Right, phase one. Here we go. Phase one. Questions to be answered in a bit. Phase one. 23-24 season part-time season ticket holders. 23-24 season season and part-time season ticket holders will be able to secure their ticket for Monday at 10 a.m. December until Tuesday, 5 p.m. So you've got all day Monday and Tuesday all the way to 5 p.m. Upon entering your e-ticketing account, season ticket holders will be advised that your seat will be available to purchase under reserved tickets. That's easy. In the right-hand column. Following completion of the checkout process, you will be able to access the stadium using the digital season ticket currently downloaded on your smartphone device Season ticket holders with non-digital cards will also be able to use their cards to access the stadium. Straightforward. Please note that eligible for the fears, your part-time season ticket must be purchased before 5pm Friday. That is tonight. Past deadline now. And then phase two. Oh, we're in phase two. But we're in phase two, right? This is where it gets interesting. Where the hell are we going? Season ticket holders located in the North Stand, including Black Cat's Bar, were required to relocate. So we're phase two. We understand this will resume in some disappointment and appreciate your understanding of those exceptional circumstances. Twats. <laughs> Like all other season ticket holders, you will be guaranteed a ticket for the fixture if you select an alternative seat. Like all other season ticket holders, you will be guaranteed a ticket for the fixture if you select an alternative seat from 12 noon on Wednesday the 20th of December until Thursday at 5pm. Reserved seats that were not purchased in phase one will be available to buy in phase two. Upon logging on in your e-ticketing account, simply se select the NUFC fixture, pick your chosen seat and complete the checkout process. You will then be issued your digital match ticket, which will be distributed via email approximately seven days before the game. Phase three. From 10 a.m. on Friday the 22nd of December, fans who have purchased tickets for three or more home fixtures this season will have the opportunity to secure their seat. These tickets will be accessible on the first come first served basis. So there we have it. Well, one ticket per supporter as phase two digital match tickets will be given via email. Additional, in additional, in additional information, accessible and personal assistant tickets will also be available to purchase 10 a.m. December. Right, so me, Wincy and Jonas and Raimondo have to move, but we have to choose our seats so we may not be able to sit together. If we do it together at the same time, then we may be able to sit together. It's a bit of a conundrum and we can sit anywhere in the stadium that the seats are available. If, there's a, if they're available. Now, what happens? This is, my, this is my worry, right? What happens if all the seats are taken up by season ticket holders and those who are buying part-time season tickets and there's not much left when we have to move from the North Stand? What happens if there's none left by the time we pick our... We choose... I, I, I'm, I'm I'm a bit baffled with this. Like, oh. up a concourse? Do we move KLD out the fucking way and sit where he sits? So everyone who sits everywhere else is guaranteed a ticket. So if you've went out between you know this morning and five pm and bought tickets in the other seats, 
What happens if there's no more seats available when we have to move from the lower north? We're not gu we look we everybody in the lower north is not guaranteed a ticket or a ticket or am I overreacting here? Am I am I ga I'm at work all day Wednesday. I'm at work all day Wednesday, so I won't be able to get on till about around winter to three o'clock to sort this out. I can see this is, I've never seen this before. This is first, first time I've seen it, and I'm just reacting to it right now. And I think it. I think 6,000. Sorry, Newcastle fans, you know, end of the day. I know you just want to come to the match. I think 6,000 is too many. I think 6,000 is too many. But that's just my personal opinion. But end of the day, Newcastle fans, you know, come to the ground, enjoy your day out. I hope, you know, everybody behaves themselves. Respect. If you want to come on the vlog, let me know. We can meet outside the Hilton Hotel. I'll interview you on my vlog. Let me know down below. Anybody who wants to do that on Derby Day, 100%. I think me and Wincy, we might go down early. We might go down early. Andrea Mondo will do a bit of a pub crawl. That could be good. Bit of a pub crawl first thing in the morning. Some pubs will be open, won't they? You know, people come down, get on the vlog in the pub crawl if you want to. I'm just sticking outside the box. Right now, this could happen. Michael Beale. Apparently, Michael Beale is also... Fucking hell, man. Come on. Michael Beale. He, he wasn't very good at QPR. Yeah? I don't think that I can remember. And he went to Rangers. Any Tom, Dick and Harry can go to Rangers. And he got sacked from Rangers after a few months, I think. In October. What has Michael Beale got that Dodds hasn't got? Or does Dodds... And I can understand, right, if, if Dodds... Because I had a bit of a chat with KLD and Speakman said, I don't want to be, I don't want to be the manager. I don't want to be assistant. He hasn't come out and said that, but if he, if he, he might, he might have come out and said, I don't want, look at me, I'm fucking knackered. Nine, all them days early starts. He might have come out and said, I don't want to be in charge. I'll do it in the interim, but I don't. If, if he said that, then fair dues. But why have we gone for the cheapest route again? We've gone from Tony Mowbray to Michael Dodds. I'm baffled. Michael Dodds. Michael Dodds. Fucking hell, man. <sighs> What's his name? Michael Beale. Michael Beale. Where do I get Michael Dodds from? That's his name. He is Michael Dodds. Michael Dodds. It is Michael Dodds, isn't it? I do. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I say I'm tired. I've been to bed. I'm all over the place here. But if, if Michael Beale. Fucking, did I say Michael Dodds from the start of this conversation? But anyway, Michael Beale could start again. What's Michael Beale got that Dodds hasn't got? Someone let me down know in the comments. Let me know in the comments down below. You know, we've had all these names banished around. And we're, coming, we're going to get somebody who has, has been sacked. Hasn't got a job. For me, it's the cheapest route. I'm not saying he won't do a good job. You know, he'll have my support, 100%. And I know fans will have their voice of their opinion, whether they want them or not. But all fans come together on match day. And if he if he if he becomes the new Sunderland head coach, it won't be my choice. But he will have my 100 percent backing, you know, and I'll want him to succeed, simple as. But personally, I'd rather just keep Dodds and have Michael Bale. That's just my personal opinion. So there we go. What's your thoughts on ticket allocation? Is it too many or not enough? Newcastle fans, are you cock a hoop over the moon with this? You've been playing badly. Are we meeting you at the right time? Can we win the Weir Time Derby? I watched us play against Leeds. I think we've got an opportunity, a chance, a small chance. Yes, Newcastle are good. Yes, they've got some class players. Yes, the B team is better than our A team. But on any given day, any given day in a one-off competition, we, with passion, Oh, it's going to be one hell of a day. One hell of a derby day. I'm really looking forward to it. And like I said, anybody wants to come in the vlog, let me know down below. I am disappointed. I have to... I'm not I'm not going to make any bones about it. It's the right fuck on. It is the right fuck on. I'm disappointed. I've got to move seats. But we have to do what we have to do. They're the rules. Right. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Take care. I'm sure I'll be back on later on with a Michael fucking... Michael Beale or... Ian Beale? I don't know. Anyway, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching.
I'm going to go get myself. I'm going to go. I'm going to go and get dressed and sort myself out. Cheers.